hello python programmers so this is the video third of a python marathon series for the beginners now in this video we are gonna see that what are the data types in python now you must be wondering that why i have created a separate video for data type and not included it into the python fundamentals so the reason is that data types are really very important thing if you are starting off with any programming language now data type is the key if you want to perform any operation like you want to do sum of two numbers now you cannot give string for that operation right this is why it is very important to know that what are the data types present in that programming language in this video i'm gonna tell you that what are the data types in python so let's get started the first one is numbers i have also explained this one into my python fundamentals video but i'll just recall that so numbers are those data type which are used to store the numerical values in python let's see that what are the core data types of numbers first is integer now integer are whole numbers such as 5 39 and 0 whatever it is they are no fractional number and they are no fractional number or decimal numbers so let's see that what are the three types of integers first is plain text uh, sorry plain integers plain integers are the normal integer representation and it uses to store th 32 bits of 4 bytes and the plain integers can be positive as well as negative so it is used to store the numerical values up to a certain limit it cannot be a whole value it cannot be an integer value but it can be a positive or negative value now let's talk about the second one which is which is long integer the number larger than the range of the plain integer are known as the long integer there is nothing as different from plain integer the only difference in long integer as compared to plain integer is that it is having a greater value i mean I haven't used this long integer in in my programs but I think so it can be used in like astronomy or something where we have to like where we have to handle a large number of numeric value so this can be used for large number of numeric value then there comes the third one which is boolean these represent the true values which is true or false the boolean type is a subtype of plain integer and boolean value false and true behaves like a value of 0 and 1 respectively to get the boolean equivalent of 0 and 1 we can we can simply do one thing let me open my command prompt and show you strike python and if we write bool of 0 then we get false because 0 is false and same for 1 it is true so this is how boolean works it is a subtype of plain integer where 0 is true uh, sorry where 0 is false and 1 is true now let's come to our next numbers which is float now float is anything which can be represented in point values or decimal values this is the most simplest explanation i can give for this floating type uh, the third and the last one is complex numbers now if you have studied maths till class 10th or something then you must be knowing that what are the complex numbers 
the complex number are in the form of a plus i b where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part and i is equal to where i is equal to under root 1 now there are many operations that you can perform uh, let me show you some of the examples here like let's say that c is equal to 1 plus 5j and d is equal to 4 plus 5j now let's do one thing let's add them let's say a is equal to c plus d let's print a and there we get the addition of the real and imaginary part of the complex number now if you want to see that which is the real part of uh, this equation here then simply do one thing this is a dot real press enter and you can see that 5 is the real part here if you want to get the imaginary part then simply write imag imag press enter and 11 is the imaginary part of this number here let's jump to our next data type which, which is strings now anything which comes under single inverted comma double inverted comma or triple inverted comma are all known as strings now there are two type of strings here first is normal ascii string and the second is unicode string first let's see what is the normal ascii string this string type holds string of zero or more ascii characters the value belong to this string type is represented as string as represented traditionally that is between two question marks for example let's see let me show you a few example like whatever we write here this is all a unicode which i have told you here the anything between the single inverted comma double inverted comma or triple inverted comma are all normal ascii strings now generally we use normal ascii string in our programs we rarely use the unicode string but just just that you should know that what is the unicode string here now unicode string can hold string containing the unicode characters the unicode string value are written as normal string prefixed with the letter u now if you have a program where you have to use the unicode characters then you can simply do one thing write a u before or write a u as a prefix and then simply write that string here we print a then this is it the value stored into the memory is in the form of unicode string this is the only difference between the uh, normal ascii string and unicode string here so let's quickly jump to our next data type which is list and tuples the list in python now the list and tuple are python's compound data types we have taken them in one section because they are basically the same with only one difference that list is mutable or it can be changed whereas tuples are non-mutable they cannot be changed so let's see that what are the list and tuples first let's talk about list 
now the list in python represents a list of comma separated value of any data type between a square brackets now here you can see in this example that between these two square brackets you can write any data type here it can also be a list let me show you an example like i have created a new string and inside that string we have another string here so you can say that this is a string with with a string inside and this is all valid so here you can see in this example that we have a string inside a string so any data type between these two square brackets are treated as strings now if you are not able to understand these data types in one go do not worry because i'll be creating separate dedicated value for all these uh, data types here because we have to discuss this into a very depth so i will create a very dedicated video for all these data types so you just have to wait though so let's talk about tuples here now as i have told you that there is no difference in list and tuples apart from that that list is mutable or it can be changed and tuples cannot be changed once you have created a tuple you cannot change the values now there are many things like slicing indexing which will be discussing into our list manipulation video but till now you just have to know one thing that list can be manipulated or changed and tuples cannot be changed so let's go to our next section which is dictionary dictionary is a pretty unique feature in python this is very different from the above data types it is a key value pair now in this example as you can see that this is the key here like when you open a dictionary then you search for a word for which you want to know that meaning in this dictionary the key is that word and meaning is that value here now let's see this example here here a is the key and 1 is the value here which means that if we call a from our dictionary let's say that our dictionary is from the name z sorry our dictionary is of the name z here then if we call z of a then the value which will come out will be 1 because this is the value which is stored in this key now also one thing to remember here is that this key should be unique now you cannot write 2a here because if we are calling a key then we don't want duplicate key to be present into our dictionary because python won't be able to recognize that which key is the user calling so in dictionaries the key is unique you you cannot create two key value pair with the same keys here so this was it for this video actually this was a very rough idea of what are the data types in python now we'll we'll surely be coming up with more detailed explanation of each data type of python till then stay connected with me and i'll meet in the next video bye bye